This is the sound that an alpaca sweater makes before it reaches the store. Peru produces most of the world's alpaca fibre, but few people who buy an alpaca scarf, socks or ball of yarn know about the violence that was used to steal it from animals like this. In this first of its kind undercover footage, workers slammed alpacas, some of whom were pregnant, onto tables. They tied them tightly by the legs into a restraining device reminiscent of a medieval torture rack and pulled hard nearly wrenching their legs out of their sockets. They struggled, risking and sometimes no doubt incurring injuries. Restraint is highly distressing to alpacas who are prey animals and fear that they are about to be killed. That will come later. Terrified of being pinned down and totally defenseless, the alpacas cried out, spit and vomited in fear as workers grabbed them by the ears. Afterwards, the workers threw them to the concrete floor and were recorded even standing on an alpaca's neck. Shearers worked quickly and carelessly, leaving the animals bleeding from deep, painful wounds. When the workers stitched them up, most were never even given a topical numbing spray, which would have been inadequate anyway for gaping wounds. Workers pulled them off the floor by the tail and yanked them around. Able to hear, smell and see what was happening, other alpacas huddled together in fear. This is what alpacas go through in the production of that sweater or scarf. It's up to all of us to stop cruelty to animals in the clothing industry by deciding never to buy items made from alpaca fibre or anything else that is stolen from animals. Please, when you're shopping, check the tag. If it says alpaca, leave it on the rack. Thank you.